Good morning, everybody. Quick video today, hopefully. I hope you're all doing well. Check this out. Recently, vegans have been demonizing HDL cholesterol because, well, when you look at keto, carnivore people's blood tests, oftentimes they have high HDL. And when you look at vegan blood tests, very often they have low, sometimes dangerously low HDL cholesterol. Now look, you shouldn't just look at one blood marker from one test, especially when it comes to the lipid panel, and think, presuppose that you have it all figured out, all right? You don't. Take another test. Look at any particular marker in the context of any one test and in the context of multiple tests, okay? All right. Now, I have been sent this study many times by many vegans looking to justify the worldview, to support the worldview with studies and science. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this study, supposedly, and they never send me the full study. They just send me an article summarizing the study. Okay. The reason why that's important is because just by reading this article, for example, you see what the problems were with the study and the conclusions drawn from the study. What other problems would you be able to see if you had the actual study in front of you? Hmm? Right. Anyway, let's read real quick. Very high levels of HDL may be associated with an increased risk of heart attack and death. May. May be associated, okay? It's not even associated. It may be, okay? For starters, according to research. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Dr. Mark Allard Rattick. Rattick of Emory University School of Medicine, Atlanta, U.S. said, quote, It may be time to change the way we view HDL cholesterol. Traditionally, physicians have told their patients that the higher your quote-unquote good cholesterol, the better. However, the results from this one study out of hundreds and thousands of studies, and oh, there are others, sorry, <laughs> where, suggest that this may no longer be the case. May no longer be the case. May! <laughs> oh, some of you vegans, all of you vegans are so ideologically possessed. Well, your head's stuck so far up your fucking ass. You really shouldn't, you, should, you shouldn't even have an opinion, okay? Because it ain't worth a good goddamn. So, fuck it, let's read on. HDL cholesterol has been considered good because the HDL molecule is involved in the transport of cholesterol from the blood and blood vessel walls to the liver and ultimately out of the body, thereby reducing the risk of clogged arteries and atherosclerosis. Did you get that? Why it's called good HDL? Okay. People with low HDL cholesterol have a greater risk of atherosclerosis and cardiovascular disease. Did you get that also? All right. So how does this article say that people with high HDL have higher risk? If people with low cholesterol have a greater risk of atherosclerosis. So first and foremost, this still doesn't absolve all of you vegans with super low HDL cholesterol, all right? And they're not saying they may. No, 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 no. Like when it comes to super high HDL, they're not saying may, they're saying this is what it is, okay? But the protective effect of very high HDL cholesterol has been unclear. Unclear, we just don't know. We don't know. The study conducted as part of blah, 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 investigated the relationship between HDL cholesterol levels and the risk of heart attack and death in almost 6,000 individuals, most of whom had Heart disease! Yay! <laughs> Vegans are morons. The average age of participants was 63 years, and 35% were female. So during the median follow-up of four years, 769, 13% of participants had a heart attack or died from cardiovascular disease. Participants with HDL cholesterol levels greater than 60 milligrams a deciliter had a nearly 50% increased risk of dying from cardiovascular disease or having a heart attack compared to those with HDL cholesterol levels 41 to 60. In this study, okay, now 
the writer of this article goes on to hypothesize that very high HDL cholesterol may not be good for you, okay? But this is based in bullshit. This very article itself tells you that HDL cholesterol does what? Reduces the risk of clogged arteries and atherosclerosis. And then they tell you that the people in the study had heart disease. What's heart disease? Atherosclerosis. <laughs> so, perhaps, I don't know, just a guess here. Perhaps their HDL levels were high because they had heart disease. They had atherosclerosis, so their body was responding to atherosclerosis by elevating their HCL levels. Yeah, yeah, so that they would fight atherosclerosis. Look at this. Here we go. HDL, high-density lipoproteins, oppose atherosclerosis directly by removing cholesterol from foam cells, by inhibiting the oxidation of LDL, by limiting the inflammatory processes that underlie atherosclerosis. Okay, so HDL inhibits oxidation. It fights oxidation, yeah? So these people that had atherosclerosis in the study, it was probably due to the fact they had a lot of oxidative stress, which is why their HDL was elevated, probably, right? Duh. <laughs> and by limiting the inflammatory processes that underlie atherosclerosis. So they also had a lot of inflammation in their body, most likely which is why HDL was elevated also, yeah? Jesus Christ. HDL also have anti-thrombotic properties, anti-blood clotting properties. Thus, HDL cholesterol interrupts the process of atherogenesis at several, several key stages. And this is exactly why mechanisms are important, Frank Tufano, vegan gains, a couple of dummies. You have a population study, a study on a sick population, and they're trying to draw some kind of conclusion that HDL is a bad thing. Oh, they're not sure, right? Of course they're not sure, because they, they know what they're doing. Too much of a good thing, question mark? Come on. But you have this population, a study on a small population of people, heart diseased people and even though they tell you what some, one of the mechanisms of HDL is they think that they can ignore that and draw their conclusions ignoring why the HDL might be there in the first place ignoring the mechanism because they have a study that correlates high levels of HDL in a sick population with heart disease and heart attacks Jesus Christ you can't ignore mechanisms okay look you found the correlation yeah great but that doesn't mean that you found the causation. Why are you assuming that high HDL has a causative role in heart attacks? Why? When it could be, because there is a correlation, there's not just a correlation between high levels of HDL, in other words, with heart attacks. There's also, it goes both ways, right? A correlation between heart attacks and high HDL. So why are you assuming that high HDL causes heart attacks when you could just as well assume that heart attacks cause high HDL, or more precisely, heart disease, atherosclerosis, causes high HDL. And on top of that, you actually have a mechanism that explains why that is, versus looking at it from the way these people are looking at it, people who, in my opinion, as I stated, are sweating because patents on LDL drugs, LDL-lowering drugs, are running out, and they need to find, devise new drugs to lower perhaps HDL cholesterol and make another billion and on top of billion on top of billions of dollars. They are trying to push this hypothesis that HDL has a causative role in atherosclerosis heart disease despite the fact that we know what the mechanisms are and we know why HDL is there. We understand why it's there because most of the people in the study had heart disease meaning they had atherosclerosis. Some of them probably had prior heart attacks. So Again, the reason why they had elevated levels of HDL is because they had heart disease. Duh, you can't ignore the mechanisms. Especially if these mechanisms go against your fucking hypothesis. Ridiculous. But this is what vegans do. This is what ideologues do. This is what dogmatic people do. 
this is what people who are possessed by this ideology of veganism and they have to twist reality in order to fit their preconceived notions of the world, right? Like their low HDL and a keto carnivore eaters, high levels of HDL on average. They have to twist and turn and, and, and you know, push it out the goddamn ass to try to make it make sense. Even though there's more evidence that HDL is protective, more studies on top of studies on top of studies, and mechanistic data that tells you that HDL is protective of heart disease, you got this one study that tries to fucking bamboozle you. Why? Because it was probably sponsored by some pharmaceutical company who wants to, is probably working right now on devising a new drug that attacks HDL directly. And, you know, they're going to kill more and more fucking people if they are to succeed in convincing the population that high HDL is bad. Now, look, there could be a good reason why your HDL is high, right? You have heart disease. <laughs> and there could be good reasons why your HDL is high that has nothing to do with heart disease because you eat a diet or a, live a lifestyle or there's a combination of factors in your lifestyle that heightens your HDL cholesterol levels. But unless you can show me mechanisms that show how HDL causes, has a causative role in heart disease, your hypothesis is garbage saying that it does, okay? Anyway, is there anything else I wanted to say? Now, someone might ask a question. Why do all, because all of these people have heart disease, why do some of them have higher HDL and some of them have lower HDL? Well, I mean, and why do specifically these people have, on average, lower HDL than someone like myself or maybe other people on the keto carnivore diet, right? Well, because they don't eat that diet. They eat a shit diet, most likely, that's, high that causes oxidative stress and inflammation which triggers their hdl to be high versus you know there are other reasons perhaps why people who don't eat this way and have lower levels of inflammation and oxidative stress who you know for other reasons have high hdl so say for example if i'm eating this way and a lot of other people are and our average hdl is around 60 maybe 65 or something like that you know if we were to have heart disease and hey, who knows, maybe I do. You should expect our cholesterol, in other words, to be, you know, maybe in the 80s or maybe even higher, which still wouldn't necessarily mean that just because your HDL is there on the keto diet that you do have heart disease. And it still doesn't mean that HDL causes heart disease, right? Because we know, we know, right? We know that it's actually there to fight heart disease, atherosclerosis specifically, right? We know this, which is why the people that are trying to con and fool you writing this article because they don't want to be criticized to death and maybe there is some honesty there. That's why whenever they talk about any sort of causative role with HDL and heart disease, they say, may, may. And when, there's, when they're talking about HDL having a protective role, they don't say may anymore because, well, we understand it does. This isn't a hypothesis. This is something we've observed. This is a fact. Anyway, this video says gone on too long. You know, this isn't even the study, people. This is just an article summarizing the study. And it doesn't even give you all of the information. And it's already full of fucking holes like Swiss cheese. Which, I wish I had some because I'd have it for breakfast. Anyway, ah, uh, you vegans, man. You guys... Your whole worldview is crumbling, all right? The whole ideology is falling the fuck apart. So you have to twist reality. Well, I mean, that's how your ideology was built in the first place, how all ideologies are. But now that it's crumbling down like the house of fucking cards that it is, you gotta, you really gotta stretch the truth and reality to, to make it make sense because, well, you sweating balls, homie. That's what's up. So. That's, that's my response to all of you HDL, high HDL scaremongers. Go fuck yourself, all right? Thank you.